Guys, six, six, six here. Now, uh, this is how you fix that, uh, the clunking issue in the G27s. Um, there's basically no information on how to do this online anymore, so figured since I figured it out, might as well make it. Um, basically what you have to do is you have to drill out these posts here. Once you take the whole wheel apart, got the thing down here. Um, I'm not going to explain how to do that because there's a million things on how to do that online. So, um, basically you drill these posts out with, uh, I forget what, what size I used. It was like seven... Sixteenths, I think it was. Ah. Anyway, um, you, I have a, I have a plate frame screw here, um, a machine screw, and I just drilled it out just small enough so that it'll start threading itself in, and you thread it down all the way until you could basically barely turn this by hand, and that puts pressure on the, on the, the shaft of the motor here on both, on both these motors, and uh, keeps the, the, the gears from chattering. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's really that simple. It's just a little, you know, it's a little dangerous because you don't want to actually puncture the the, uh, the bushing that's in there. But it's like a little spring in a bushing, so. Well, that's it. It's, uh, I'll, I'll post a video in a second of, uh, or I'll cut to a video of me in a second doing this. Uh, you know, showing how, how little chattering there actually is now. And just to show you the effect that it has, uh, so. Have the wheel set up, I know, I'm sorry, it's messy over here. But, put the thing in drive. Drive over these bumps and you'll see the... no longer clacking its fucking head off every time, you know, you go over a bump. This is a pretty severe bump there. Hang on, let me actually take it off a jump. This is, you know, on 100% force feedback. Uh, I'll crank it up with the program later, but even, even if I do that, here it's only slightly making a little bit of noise, but this is also a five-year-old racing wheel, so... It's already got some some actual play in the uh, in the wheel itself, so nothing you could do there. There's a little bit of play, but you know, uh, honestly, for a fix that cost me absolutely nothing, except for you know two plate screws, it's not too bad. All right, guys, let me know if you guys need any help with this, uh, and uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you can. Thanks, guys.